Welcome back to another video in our Tableau Certified Associate Consultant exam prep series. In Domain 3, you're going to see questions related to workbook best practices and performance. You will also be tested on your ability to choose the correct chart type based on specific fields within your dataset. Some of the questions may also be related to different filter types, such as context filters or relative filters, for example. And you will also be tested on some basic dashboard interactivity. For example, applying correct dashboard filter actions based on a given scenario. Overall, this is probably the easiest domain on this exam, as long as you feel comfortable creating basic chart types and you know how to read the output of a performance recorder. All right, let's take a closer look at different subsections that are covered in this domain. For subsection 3.1, you need to know what are some of the things that can impact performance in a workbook. So you need to think about performance best practices with respect to calculations, data sources, worksheets, and dashboards. For subsections 3.2 through 3.4, you need to be able to look at a bad visualization and make recommendations for how to make it more user-friendly by following visual best practices. And once again, you need to know when you should or shouldn't use a specific chart type, because there will be a lot of questions that test you on that. All right, let's take a look at the first question. Let's say you have a dashboard that displays GDP per capita by region with regional and state level filters. When selecting the Western region, you want the state level filters to only show the states from the selected region. Which filter should you use? In this question, we have two dimension filters and we want to show only relevant values in our second filter. So what we're looking for is a relevant filter which is only going to show us relevant values based on the selection in the first filter. For question number two, let's say you're publishing a dashboard to a Tableau server site and you want to ensure that the dashboard loads reasonably fast when viewed from multiple devices. You anticipate that the number of users accessing a dashboard simultaneously can exceed 100 users. What dashboard size option will ensure good performance? One of the easiest things you can do in order to ensure good performance is probably to check that your dashboard is set to a fixed size. So let's just think about this for a second. If you have multiple users accessing the dashboard simultaneously and they're all using different devices, then Tableau has to generate a new layout for each request. But if you set your dashboard layout to a fixed size, then Tableau will only generate a single layout and reuse it across all requests. For question number three, we need to specify which view in the performance summary dashboard will show all events sorted by duration. The performance summary dashboard contains three different views, timeline, events, and query. And the answer here is D. Let's say you want to investigate the relationship between sales and profit by customer. So here we want to visualize the relationship between two numerical variables. So we're going to choose a scatter plot. Typically, when you have a large number of data points and you want to find out whether the two measures are correlated, then you would use a scatter plot. For question number five, let's say you're analyzing tornado occurrences in the United States and you've been tasked to create a visualization which can reveal areas that are more prone to tornadoes. Which chart type will you choose? The answer here is D. Density maps are a great choice for visualizing patterns or trends in your data, especially geographic data that has a lot of overlapping marks. All right, for question number six, let's take a look at this visualization. What change would you make to this chart in order to improve its readability? And the answer here is A. So one of the easiest things you can do in this chart is simply change its orientation. Let's say you want to evaluate a sales team by comparing their sales and their quotas but you want a better comparison between actual and target values. Which chart type should you use in this case? In this particular scenario, a bullet chart is definitely a better option to represent this data. Question number eight is asking us which dashboard action will allow you to highlight a specific dimension in your dashboard sheet without filtering out the other data points. And this question is actually quite simple and straightforward. So the answer here is D. Let's say you want to disable a dashboard view from being filtered on. What option do you need to select? In this case, we simply need to select ignore actions. Moving on to question 10. 
Let's say you want to add animations to your dashboard to better highlight changing patterns in your data. Your dashboard contains three simple charts which should quickly transition to show any value changes when the end users interact with quick filters. Which animation type will you choose? Well, you have two choices, simultaneous or sequential. The simultaneous animation is typically fast and direct, so it works really well when showing value changes, whereas sequential animations are much slower. So they take you through the animation step by step, and they're typically used for presenting complex concepts. So the answer here is C. And that's it for domain three. Make sure you guys go over performance best practices, visualization best practices, know how to create basic chart types, and make sure you know how to run and read the output of a performance recorder. I've included some additional resources for domain three in the description section of this video. So make sure you guys go ahead and check out those white papers. Those are going to be very important for the exam. Thank you guys for watching. Please stay tuned for more tutorials, tips, and exam related questions.